smart board, one of the examples that we have here in Bloomfield, it's the smart board 600i, which means it has an arm and a projector mounted right on the board. Um, and really all it is is a thin piece of paper and then a layer of air and then a sensor on the back of the board, which takes um, what it feels on the board and moves it around. So I'll just go into a math lesson and find some math materials. Um, if we were doing a lesson on prob probability, there are interactive dice that I could bring over, or we might talk about the probability of rolling a certain number, and when you click on it, the dice moves. So let's say I was teaching a lesson about the United States, and I was able to bring a map up here, and I wanted to label some of the states for students. There's tools down at the bottom. I could either write with my finger using tools up here, or I could take um, a marker off the board and be able to write down here. So I might tell them that this is the state of Texas. Another lesson you could use with primary aid students is we have these letter tiles that automatically just switch and they can make different um, words using the different letters. So you just click on the tile and it automatically switch, switches and they can see what kind of words that they can make. As a teacher, we could pose questions to the students and they would each have their own voting system in front of them. They could plug in their answer that they felt was correct. And then as a teacher, you could see how many students got it right, how many students got the question incorrect, and then we could use that information to either reteach or move on. This is one of the activities that's available in SmartBoard software. Um, it's a frog dissection, so students could do this before they do an actual dissection to practice and get a feel for what it's all about. So you just follow the directions on the screen, press the pin button on the toolbar so that we can secure the frog. So we need to secure the frog, make sure it's down. There's no extra tools that you need to have or use. Your finger controls everything that you do on the board. Locate and press on the abdomen. Press the scalpel button. Make three incisions along the dotted red lines. Open the skin flaps and pin them. And then we'll pin them down. Now open the muscular abdominal flaps and pin them also. So we'll open those up and pin those down. Locate and press on the thorax and press on the scissors button. And we're going to cut the thorax open. Cut along the clavicle region. Open the thoracic flaps and pin them. Now we have to pin them. We will now initially examine the interior. 